Welcome to our new video. A new Ubuntu release is on the horizon. Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu, has recently released Ubuntu 23.10 as a beta. Of course, it's still a pre-release version, but still, we had to give it a try because, well, Ubuntu is one of the most popular, if not the most popular, Linux distribution in the world. Let's see what's new for average users. First things first. Let's see what the installation is like. We fired up our virtual machine program to test the new Ubuntu version. It's still in early beta as of the time of recording the video, so naturally there are some hiccups. Yet the installer is ready to do its job and, as you can see, it's the new Ubuntu installer which obviously has firmly established itself and replaced the old one called Ubiquity. In our opinion, the new installer is looking fresh and polished and we believe potential newcomers to Linux will find it even more user-friendly. So, the new installer has introduced some new features. Now, it offers two options. A default installation that provides just the bare essentials, including basic utilities, and an expanded installation, which is basically the normal installation that we've had so far. Options for installing third-party software and additional media formats are still there. For new users, we recommend the second option, the expanded installation. The installer now provides even a new slideshow promoting Ubuntu features, which is also a welcome addition. Anyway, the installation went smoothly and with no major issues whatsoever. Once the system is installed, the very first thing a user is faced with is a new Ubuntu default wallpaper. Ubuntu 23.10, codename is Mantic Minotaur, hence the maze with the shape of that mythical beast. In our opinion, and some of our crew have been following Ubuntu since its inception, this is one of the best default wallpapers that Ubuntu featured so far. Now the System Details section opens in a new window. As you can see, Ubuntu 23.10 comes with Linux kernel version 6.5 and brings the latest and greatest version 45 of the GNOME desktop environment. Another headline feature of Ubuntu 23.10 Mantic Minotaur is a new Ubuntu software application. It replaces the GNOME software-based Ubuntu software. The new Ubuntu App Center has a lean and clean design. It is responsive. It clearly alerts you if there are updates available. By default, the App Store enables you to search for applications provided via Ubuntu's own Snap platform. However, users can also search for native dev packages by using a filter. Another addition in Mantic Minotaur is a firmware updater tool. Of course, it shows nothing right now. We are in a virtual machine. The expanded installation that we chose during the installation process provides a decent number of apps out of the box and lets you be productive once the system is set up. So, the setup again includes LibreOffice as a default office suite, and it's one of the latest versions at the time of producing the video. Firefox is the default web browser, 
and it's to a fresh version of the browser. The system also comes with Mozilla Thunderbird as the default email client. It's also one of the newest versions and it really looks clean and modern in Ubuntu. It's the beta release and besides we are in the virtual machine but still we haven't noticed any issues when it comes to starting apps. We haven't had any lag or stuttering. So, since there has been a constant argument over Ubuntu's use of the Snap software platform, let's see for ourselves what apps are pre-installed as Snaps. Among common apps, only Firefox comes as a Snap, but still, we haven't had any issues with it. So far, so good. Ubuntu 23.10 brings in a new version of GNOME. As we have already mentioned, it's GNOME 45. It's a modern and simple desktop environment that, in our view, that we also expressed in some of our previous videos, resembles the workflow of the Android operating system. It was using 1.5 GB of RAM out of the 6.1 GB dedicated to it in the virtual box. It's pretty much memory in use, however, we should keep in mind that we were opening and closing multiple apps while recording the video. Customization is one of Linux users' favorite topics, so we will check what new things Ubuntu Mantic Minotaur provides. It includes well-established light and dark desktop styles with different accent colors and several Minotaur-inspired wallpapers. There's also a section for customizing elements of the Ubuntu desktop. It now includes enhanced window tiling out of the box. One of the new things in GNOME 45 is the adoption of full-height sidebars in the default applications. Here, in Files, GNOME Default File Manager, for instance, the File Transfer Indicator or the App Menu are moved to the sidebar. One of the highlights of GNOME 45 is a new workspace indicator in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Now, the Plain Activities text label has been replaced with a dynamic indicator that lets users know which workspace they are on. It's still a button, and it's also possible to scroll your mouse wheel while hovering over the indicator to switch between workspaces. All in all for us, Ubuntu 23.10 already looks like a complete and cohesive modern operating system. It is expected to be officially released on October 12, 2023 and will be supported until July 2024. An October Ubuntu release can be a marker of what is to come in the next long-term support LTS release. In the case of Mantic Minotaur, if this is what Ubuntu 24.04 might look like, including its forthcoming long-term rock-solid stable base, then it will be an awesome release, both for Linux adopters and veterans alike. We hope you've liked the video. If you do, hit the like button, share it on social media and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done it. Thank you kindly for watching and see you next time.